how many people how many people nowadays do you know that talk about generational wealth like yo man i gotta get that bag i gotta get the wealth you know i went on a dating site this was like maybe three months ago or something like that um and the girl contacted me and she was like let's get generational wealth together and that was her opening line that was her first line for the date it's interesting right like so many people are so fixated and concerned about generational wealth nowadays and that's like the main thing especially when it comes to relationships and trust me y'all i i know because I, I dated um a bunch even though i'm done with that but at one point i did but i started thinking like as far as generational what are the main things that i hear and i hear two one is generational wealth and the other one is generational trauma generational wealth and generational trauma a lot of things can get passed down. Oh, you got your dad's eyes. Oh, you got your mom's nose. Oh, you got, you know, your great grandpa's smile, right? You know what I'm saying? It, it happens like that. Things get passed down through the generations. But good things can also get passed down too, right? As far as like spiritual knowledge and intellect, intellect and things like that. You know, a lot of people, in my opinion, I don't think they really understand what wealth is. Because wealth is not... Do I have it? I don't have it. Wealth is not money. As far as a Federal Reserve note or something like that, that is not what wealth is, right? Wealth is not even a piece of silver, right? This is not this is not what wealth is, you know? And I started to really think, like, what is wealth? Because people are talking about generational wealth. If you think you're going to get take your life, right, you know, make a business or whatever, get a whole bunch of pieces of silver, gold, and diamonds and paper and Federal Reserve notes, whatever, whatever you consider wealth, and you're going to pass that on so that it can go through the generations, and you think that it's going to just stay like that? I like what one of my teachers said. He said, if somebody hands you one million dollars, you best to become a millionaire if you want to keep the money. Right. If somebody hands you a million dollars, you best to keep the money if you want to become a millionaire. When I first heard that, I didn't get that. I'm like, what? But yeah, if somebody hands you a million dollars, you better become a millionaire. Otherwise, you're not keep the money. See, I'm talking about generational wealth, man. You're not going to keep no bag. You're not going to get a bag if you don't really understand what real wealth is. And I'm going to tell you what real wealth is because I have a couple things written down. And I think that these would be good for anybody who's looking to get generational wealth but not just generational wealth get rid of generational trauma and to set up the generations um for success the ones that are coming right the, the ones that are going to be coming in the future so number one first and foremost if you want to get the bag and you want to get generational wealth all right this is what you got to do you got to have courage 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 and i'm gonna go through these pretty quick because i got about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i got ten all right so courage you're not gonna do anything in life if you don't got the courage to do it right i know a lot of people talking about get the bag blah 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 you got to get up off your booty right and you gotta have the courage to make it happen some people are so afraid to even talk to the next person some people are even afraid to get on the youtube you know i don't i don't like talking but i do it why because i i need to i have to Right? It's something inside of me that's telling me to do it. And what's the definition of courage? To do it even if you are afraid. There's been plenty of times I've been afraid to do something and I did it I did it anyway because it needed to be done. And that's having courage. And most people won't utilize courage, especially on themselves, right? They, they play the lottery, you know, and take a risk on that and blah, 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 but they won't take a risk on themselves. So number one is courage. Number two is persistence right you keep on persisting to follow something through all the way until the end until it's finished until it's complete most people won't do that most people will start something maybe even for a couple and then they're done just just start a you know a poem a poem a book uh, a video game right the coding video game um going out working to the gym uh yoga school something right they don't persist all the way you're not going to get wealth if you can't be persistent <laughs> so that's just something to think about okay number three consistency doing it over and over and over again 
And I want to say, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, because, well, I'll say it after I'm done with these, okay? Well, I'll say it right now. All of these, the courage, the persistence, the consistency, these can go either way. You can be, uh, cur you can have enough courage, but in the negative direction. You can have enough persistence but in the negative direction. You can have enough consistency, but in the negative direction. A lot of people have consistency. They smoke cigarettes every day. A lot of people eat every day. They go to the restroom every day. They have the same habits every day. Don't forget what a habit is, right? H-A-B-I-T, having automatic behaviors ingrained thoroughly. H-A-B-I-T, having automatic behaviors ingrained thoroughly. So a lot of people have these things that I'm talking about, but it's just that they took the left-hand path instead of the right-hand path, right? They become lazy and lethargic and so on and so forth. So. Consistency. You notice that any successful person, they're always consistent, right? Look at all of your favorite brands and things like that. Are they consistent? Is Taco Bell consistent? Is McDonald's consistent? Is Pizza Hut consistent? Right? Is um is Gis? Is Tommy? Is Tommy Hilfiger? Is Nautical? Whatever clothes people wear nowadays, man. Um, Nike. Are they consistent? What about Walmart? Are they consistent? Is Microsoft consistent? Is the iPhone consistent? Right? Is your electric company consistent? What about your gas company? What about your car? And things that are not consistent, they have a policy put into place so that they're not consistent and then they can, you know, uh, reimburse you or satisfy you so that you're not angry with the company, right? But when you click that remote, when you go to watch Netflix, Netflix, are they consistent? Yeah, they're consistent, man. And consistency is key. Do the same thing every day over and over again. I mean, even Mother Nature. Is Mother Nature consistent? She's consistent with her inconsistency, right? <laughs> so uh, let's not do too much wordplay. And the next one, determination. Determination is to keep on going to be determined. Some of these you're gonna be born with, right? And some of these, which are generational, or just because of what you've done in the past life or whatever, your sign, your astrology sign, or, um, uh, not the integrate, I don't know what I'm gonna say. But yeah, determine, you you, you, you gotta be determined. You, you, you gotta be determined. And most people don't have it. But in order to get a lot of wealth, uh, this, this kind of wealth that you're talking about, because what I'm talking about actually is the real wealth. These are, things determine when you love a partner that was courage that was courageous when you love a partner that was persistent that was consistent persistent consistent and that uh had great determination when you love a business partner like that when you love a, a child like that when you love a, a intimate partner like that these are great things right these are great attributes now an another one beyond determination is will people ask a lot how do you have willpower how do you cultivate willpower i have a question You can do a push-up, but will you do it? And that's the thing about willpower is will you do it? Will you do it? And you can do it, but most people will not. But you can. How do you, you know, increase your will? Will. You know, and I'm going to show you guys how to increase these later, but you have a choice, right? And what I realize is if, always choose the highest choice, right? Always choose the highest choice. So you got two choices, always choose the highest ones. Um, and then the next one is... Resilience. Could you get pushed out? Could uh, it hell on your crops? Right, you wasn't expecting that car accident, whatever. Something happens. Could you bounce back? Be resilient enough? Hmm. You know. Uh, and then another one is relentless. That's definitely keep on going no matter what. And then the best effort. I put best effort or strong effort, but it's really about a great effort. Because you can have all of these things, right? You can have great uh, cur courage and persistence, consistency, determination, willpower, resilience, relentless. But if you aren't putting forth your best effort, then uh, yeah, you're cheating yourself in the end. But these are things, in my opinion, there are many, many more that really equate, and patience should be on there as well too, that really equate to, um, they really equate to, to, to wealth and a great person. A great per person is a wealthy person. So a wealthy person is not necessarily somebody that has a bunch of gold and silver. A wealthy person is somebody that is wealthy in their spirit, right? Keep that in mind. So a lot of people talk about getting the bag. Y'all want to get the bag. I want to get the bag. Blah, 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 blah. You ain't going to get no bag if you don't have these attributes. So keep that in mind and focus on you. And I'm going to end it. That's why they say, seek the heavenly kingdom first and all things will be added unto you. Right? Go was inside. 
see what needs to be tweaked, what needs to be changed. I got great consistency. You know, I can work on my, um, I can work on my patience a little bit more and then just start growing in that direction. Habit, right? Create a habit in that direction. Having H, automatic A, behaviors B, ingrained I, T, thoroughly, habit. Having automatic behaviors ingrained thoroughly, just do it. Just do it. You have the willpower to do it just like anybody else, you know, different than anybody else. But most people, instead of just doing it, they rather blame, complain, and explain. Why? Because they are acting weak. Not that they are weak, but they're acting, they're thinking weak, right? And so you're not a victim, you know, you're victorious, and you can do anything that you want to do if you decide that you want to do it. But keep that in mind. A lot of people talk about generational wealth generational trauma how do you get rid of that generational trauma you apply these things <laughs> how do you get generational wealth you apply these things right and so that's what i got for today i'm trying to keep it under 10 minutes because i can go on and on and really break these down but i'm not so do me a favor hit the subscribe button hit the like button i love you guys man i appreciate you guys i hope that you have a great day great week great month great year and a great life take care of yourself i'll talk to you later oh by the way tomorrow live um 6 30 yeah 6 30 no 8 30 8 30 uh california time pacific time 11 30 eastern time live on this channel i'm gonna have sister elijah madama adama uh she's gonna be here and we're gonna kick it uh and we're gonna have a good time and a good conversation and we're gonna talk about some of these things that i'm talking about but a whole lot more so with that being said once again take care of yourself peace